today I want to tell you a little bit about how to prepare a horse for the lateral work on the ground. I want to just show you just the very basic um, beginnings of how to make the horse understand that when we um, want to move with him or her on the ground or under saddle that a little bit of energy projection and a little bit of pressure um, doesn't always mean forward. It sometimes means moving sideways or on an angle or just the haunches move or just the shoulders move. And so um, the easiest way to get started with that is very simply by taking your horse and moving him a little bit in a circle, a tiny little circle on the ground like this. And then you're going to switch if you're going to the left, your left hand on the reins, and you're just going to say to the horse, I'm just going to tab him a tiny little bit on the haunches here. And while I'm doing that, I'm just going to make him step around his front end. So this goes pretty smoothly. He is obviously familiar with the concept, but you can do that with your horse, even on the dually halter, um, just to let them know that there are different ways of being in control of you know, different parts of his body. So that's the, the good start. That's also a really nice start to make them understand the principle of a turn on the forehand later on under saddle. And then if you want to go further a little bit with this and um, show them the idea of shoulder in or leg yielding down the wall, um, I can show you a little bit about that. So we're going to take him this way and make him face on an angle, not too steep, this fence line here. And I'm going to position myself so that I have my left hand on the left rein. My right hand goes sort of holding the outside rein, or the what um, might be the right rein in this case. And I also gently, I will obviously have, you know, made my horse comfortable with a tiny bit of a touch of a whip. So this part of my hand will just give ever so slight, I don't know if you can see it, little tiny little vibrational um, tabs, never a snap, never, the whip is never there to punish. The whip is always just as a guidance tool, right? So I'm going to lead him down the fence line. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start out just walking as if I'm going to go straight. And then I'm going to just say with the whip and with my energy and body language, um, that we're not just going straight, but that he's supposed to stay a little bit on an angle. So I'm going to give this a try here. Come on, mister. Come. So just a little bit, see the smallest little increment of making him understand that we're able to go a little bit on a side angle on a, just a little bit like that, you know, and you can just do a few steps and hold him again, pet him because that was really all that we wanted at this point. I'm going to make him do a little turn or half turn on the forehand here. Turn, 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 so that he's a little bit on a different angle. There, very good. I'm going to change and we're going to come and do it the other way. So the same thing, right hand on the right rein, the left rein is on the left or left hand is on the left rein. And my whip is just ever so slightly in the position of touching him a little bit right by the haunches, right? So starting out with moving forward as if we're just going straight like this. And then I'm going to say, by the way, how about a little bit of an angle here, just for a few steps. There you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. That's just the introduction and something that you can play with if you feel comfortable, just to have the horse be comfortable with crossing the hind legs and the front legs at times. And then he can have, where's my treats? <laughs> you can have a little treat for that. Always take breaks, always, you know, don't do a for, uh, these things for too long. A few steps, hold, pet, treat, all those good things so that things stay um, in a positive tone and the horse enjoys in increments what he's learning.